Okay, so here we have the proximity sensor for the robot, and the green light is detecting whenever a 38 kilohertz signal is received in the infrared receiver, and the red light is going to turn on whenever it has received its own signal. So the goal is that the robot will receive the signal it sends out from the infrared emitter and not a signal from like, this remote. So if we press a button here, you can see that the green light is receiving 38 kilohertz signal, but the red light's not on, which indicates that it is not receiving the same code as what I am sending out. So we can go through all the buttons here and see that none of them detect it. Okay, now wave our hand in front. Boom and the proximity sensor sensed the code that we sent out from the emitter right there and the red light came on. Okay, so here we're going to show you that there's a lower limit on what the sensor can detect. So, let's turn it on first. This object here is about seven inches tall. And we're going to try to scoot this up here and see if the red light detection comes on. And it doesn't. You can see from the green light that there is a little refractive signal bouncing off of it, but nothing sufficient um, for the actual code that's sending out to be recognized. Which is really good for us because we don't want to detect the ground with this sensor um, or small objects such as a seven inch obstacle which this robot can climb over. We want to be able to detect bigger objects which we should go around instead of climbing on top of. So this is exactly the sensor placement we are looking for. Now I'm going to be testing how different objects react when I push them towards a proximity sensor. And this is of course to simulate the robot moving towards these objects, but it's easier to control it pushing them towards it. Each time I'm going to push a different color object towards it and I'll vary the speeds. Right now I'm going pretty slow and we're go until the red light turns on. This indicates that the proximity sensor has detected a bounce back signal off of that object. Now I'm going to be testing it with the lights off, and there's a little background light there so you can at least see the object moving. We're going to see if it performs any different than when the lights are on. Now I'm going to be moving the objects at a faster speed to simulate the top speed a robot the robot might actually be moving at. And what we can see here is that it detects it when the object is closer but is still sufficiently far away to correct its course or to back up before it collides with the object, which is good. Now I'm going to test how an angled object reacts to it. So here we have a straight object head on and I'm getting about a meter detection distance. Now we're going to angle it and go in and it gets it at about a meter too, a little closer but still pretty much the same. That was about a meter out. Finally, I'm going to send smaller objects at it and see at what height the robot starts detecting the objects. And I found out that it's about between 7.5 and, and 8 inches with the current position is when it will start reading that signal.
Yeah.